39. If I'm wrong, I will say I'm wrong. That's not hard for me to do. <laughs> that is. <laughs> Welcome back to a chaotic day. It's already 5, 5.30, Kaylee, is it 5.30 p.m.? 5.30. We've been running errands and working on projects and working on the computer. My mouse We're is now. this forever. Are you getting a picture of this? <laughs> should, we, should we see what Jason's doing right now? He's waiting for me to do an intro. <laughs> so this is our project right now. We're gonna create a travel wall, right, Ash? Mm -hmm. So this is up at the top of our stairs. Let me see if I can get a bigger picture. It's a huge wall here at the top of our stairs, and we're gonna make a little travel board. This comes with sticky tape. It'll weigh 10 pounds, but we're gonna take it and beef it up with uh, double-sided tape. Double-sided, like this electrical. Way heavier, way heavier double-sided tape. Yep. So. so we're gonna hang these guys up here, and then we're also going to frame it like the chalkboard wall that we have over here. We did this one, when did we do this one, Abby? A couple years ago, right? Except I'm not gonna use this thick one. I'm just gonna do a one by piece of wood. But then we're going to do, since the chalkboard is more this color, I'm gonna actually paint the frame black. So it'll kind of be the opposite look of this. You said chalkboard, not corkboard. Corkboard, thank you, Abby. The corkboard is the color of the frame so we're going to paint the frame black instead. All right, so Dad's got the little peelage stick them down. Stick adhesives. I'll put them there and then you should peel it. No, no. No, don't peel. Don't no, make I it. didn't peel it. I just stick there. Okay. So we're just going to put these down the sides, right, Dad? Yep, you stick And then down. we're going to put this guy across the top there. All right. They're peeling all the little stickies off. All right, we got one on mm -hmm. so far, and then these guys are doing the second one. This is Abby's thing. She's wanted to do this for a long time, right, Abby? Before quarantine, but especially from quarantine. Yeah. She wanted to use little, the little uh, 12 by 12 squares of cork, and so we ordered some of those back in like, I don't know, like February, March or April, I think, from Michael's. We had to like, that was before Michael's was open. And they only had two packets at the time, and then all quarantine, they, they were out of them online, and they were only offering, no, I think they had them at one point, but they were only offering them with 20% coupons through the whole quarantine. They had to make money somehow. So they weren't offering the 40% coupon, and so I didn't get them during that. And then um, when we went trying to find them at the store last week and the week before, um, I, again, I couldn't find them in store, and then yesterday when I was at Hobby Lobby, I found these large pieces. And so I went ahead and got these because I could use the 40% coupon. And we'll just use the other two packs of cork in the girls' rooms that can do their pictures. I'm gonna order some pictures from our trip to Hawaii last year. And we'll start with putting some of those pictures up here. And whenever we get to travel again, we'll add pictures and postcards and trinkets and whatever the kids want to put on here. We can make cute little frames or something. Like we went to the, the Dole Plantation and we got a cute little you know picture frame or whatever. And it's on the fridge downstairs, but it would be fun to like have a dedicated place for it. So stuff like that we'll put on this little wall. Something so satisfying with peeling this stuff off. Come on. There you go. Yeah, I think so. I mean, we have it all measured. I know, but feel the bottom. Yeah, I can only see the bottom. Got it? I think so. Yeah, 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 I think so. Alright, so Abby's got her little cork boards. You're just putting tape on hers. Abby, Where are you going to put them, Abby? Hold it. So she's going to do these cork pieces above the shelf over here. I was going to see if she wanted to remove this stuff. Oh, no. 
and put it on a cork, but she wants to leave that there. Okay, now we've got our piece of framing wood. We're gonna get cut two of them at 48 inches. All right, so the other one, the we, <laughs> I'm making fun of him right now. The sides are because we cut these ones at 45 and it literally cut them right in half. So then these ones are the same length and we only need 39. I gotta come to the other side of you. How come the sides be longer? It's a rectangle. You're right, and we're doing the top to down, top to bottom, which are shorter than the, no. honey, they're shorter. It's a rectangle, not a square. They're not the same. <laughs> oh my gosh, it was 48 across, 48 across the bottom. 48 across the bottom. 39 on the sides. We'll we just measured it. Okay, I just don't see how it's a rectangle, it's shorter on the sides, honey. Yeah, but I thought the sides were the tall part. They're not. Well, they are. They're 36, but we did we doubled it. Just trust me. Once again, they're 39, honey. Okay, if this is wrong, it's all you. Yeah. 39? 39. Sure it's not 49? There's no way that's the height of the side. Whatever, we're doing it. It's 36 plus the extra for the extra pieces on the side. Okay. 39 is If it. I'm wrong, I will say I'm wrong. That's not hard for me to do. <laughs> yeah, it is. <laughs> Want me to hold it for you, honey? Here. No, just. Oh, you're I'm just marking to make it? Sure I get it right. Okay. I love how the kids have now ditched us in the middle of this project. All right. Wait, let's see if these ones the go. Sides. That one's go top to bottom. Did you just get it mixed up? No, these are the sides. And we have to hide certain knots. So, what was that, Jace? Is that right? It appears to be a good measurement. By me. Accurate. That's I'm right. <laughs> He does not want to admit that I was right. <laughs> You're good. so lame. Okay, you but it does it. look good. You gotta get the drips on the side. You gotta be a better tagger. You're not even getting it good. Can you stop him? Apparently he's better at it. No. So I'm gonna let him do it. Like I haven't done this before. All right, so we've got our wood pieces all sprayed black, and Jason's getting the tape to put them on. We're just gonna tape them on to the wall, and then if that doesn't stick, then we'll get the compressor out and do some like little uh, tiny nails and attach them that way. I'm gonna turn off the AC over here. I think the temperature dropped outside to low 60s, so no need for AC, unless you guys want it. Do you want the air conditioning on still, or are you cold? They're in sweatshirts. I won't show them because they don't like that. We're gonna put the wall together, or the thing. You'll just look at it when you're done. Okay, we'll show you here. Oh, my hair. It's like eight o'clock, you guys. <laughs> we didn't really film much. But what I'm gonna do tonight, after the kids go to bed, is order um, pictures from Costco, and Abby's gonna do some in her room, and then I'm gonna order some from some of our last trips. I'll pick them up tomorrow, and I'll add that to this day other way honey <laughs> and show you kind of what the wall is going to look like when it's you know starting to get decorated but we need new travel to add to it and that isn't happening for a while so all right there it really is cool. yeah it's a lot of hard work i'm going to take a shower <laughs> stop you just went for a run you're such a nerd all right so there it is. It looks a little less impressive. <laughs> it's just a little bit off the ground and it'll look better tomorrow when we've got a few pictures on it. All right, it's a new day. I went to Costco and I got some cute pictures printed off. This is my cousin's little boy. This They live in Oahu. This is from two years ago. Right, Abby? Two? Yeah. That's crazy, two and a half years ago. And she was our photographer for our photos that year and I'm, Really wanting her to do them again. Abby and my girls just absolutely loved her kids. This is from last year in Kauai. Again, this one is in Oahu from two and a half years ago. This is one of the photograph, one of the photos that. Well, this is the day we were getting our photos taken, but this is just with my camera, so not as good as nearly as good as the one she did. And then that one is Kauai last year at Waipuli Falls. 
But should we show them the wall? Mm -hmm. It's gonna be fun to add to, huh? Yeah. We'll have to take some photos down as we add to it. There you go. I think it's cute, and as we kind of collect things as we go, it'll be fun to add. I actually want to add like little Hawaiian flowers, like that you get in all the little trinket shops. I want to add some more dimension to the board. I stole this little banner from downstairs because I love the little retro colors. It's total Hawaiian vibe. Obviously, that's like mainly where we love to travel. But we also have some pictures here from our visits to the Oregon coast. We usually do that at the end of every summer, but we aren't doing it this year. It's a little expensive because everyone is doing it, but it's just super fun to have all this stuff on the board. These are postcards that I've gotten because I just love the vibe and I never, sometimes I mail them and then sometimes I just keep them because I've always wanted to do a wall like this. Um, Again, just super fun. Anyway, it's just really fun. And then we got this map for Christmas from my sister-in-law and Jason's brother. And it's like one of those scratch off travel maps. And obviously it's like, you know, anticlimactic to, to scratch off. Um, well, it's not anticlimactic to scratch off Alaska and Canada and down into the states that we've been to here. My husband um, grew up in Alaska and he drove the Alcan down to either Seattle or Utah where we were going to school. And then I grew up going to my great grandparents house in Alberta, Canada. I went two or three times when I was growing up with my grandparents. Um, and then we've traveled around all these states and then we went on our honeymoon to Italy. I lived in Germany for a month. And then, what is this one? Ireland, oh Jason and I went to Ireland. And then this is one that's anticlimactic to scratch off, the Hawaiian Islands. <laughs> Teeny, teeny, tiny. <laughs> They're so small compared to everything else. It's like our favorite place to go. So anyway, it's super fun. This was framed, but I took it out of the frame. One, so we can scratch it. And two, I just like the look of it better. But now we can kind of add photos and tack them up if we ever go other places other than Hawaii, because we obviously can't keep tacking it to that side. I don't think we're ever gonna go to Antarctica, so I think it's okay to like maybe cover up that corner but I just think it turned out really fun. And now we kind of have a vision of what we can add to it as we travel. But anyway, that's it. I just wanted to make this cute board with the girls. We've been talking about it all quarantine. But if you enjoyed this, give it a like and a thumbs up or whatever you want to call it. And leave a comment below if you love to travel just as much as we do and are looking forward to it as soon as the pandemic is over. Just a little tidbit on these little pineapple guys. I forget what, I think we named him Pine, Mr. Pine. But last time we went to Kauai, we made him come along with us <laughs> along our journey. And anytime we went to like a sightseeing spot, he went with us and we took a picture of him with whatever was in that location. So this was when we, when we went to get shave ice, which was like daily. And then we were in the pool daily, so we have one there. And then up here, Aipuli Falls, so he went and joined us at the falls as well. It's just something fun to like get the kids excited about sightseeing when they really want to just play in the pool or go to the beach. And I am kind of sad we're not going to the Oregon coast this year, but we might have something else in the works. So just stay tuned and take care.